Hi, I'm Barney Pell, co-founder, vice chairman, and chief technology officer for Moon Express. And uh, tell you what we're doing today. Tonight we're actually celebrating this is our launch party, where we're for the first time opening up and inviting in uh, press and friends to come and see what we're up to. Um, what we are up to is building an autonomous robotic lunar lander um, that will leave Earth, launching on a commercial launch vehicle. Um, like the SpaceX Falcon 9, and then once it's out of Earth orbit, our system will take over, um, cruise to the moon, slow itself down using its own rockets, and then lose all of the speed so that it goes lands gently exactly on the moon where we're going to land. So including precision, of, precision landing, hazard avoidance, and all those other kind of smarts on the system. Um, we have uh, licensed and partnered with NASA, so we have a huge head start in terms of technology, and that's how we can be a very small startup company, which is 13 people now, and actually already have our own space qualifiable lunar lander that we're developing. So, um, we're really in the early stages of the business of going to the moon. Um, I think that there will be, a lot of the business will be resource development in the moon. Um, we may think of the moon as a dead, dry rock, um, but actually the moon is very, very rich in resources. Um, the moon probably has more platinum than are in all the mining reserves of planet Earth. And that platinum is generally just on the surface of the Earth because it's been brought by asteroids hitting the moon all the time over millions and billions of years. So, you can go out, harvest that that platinum and then bring it back. The Another part of the business of the moon, another resource, is um, water. Um, water, in addition to being useful for life support when we're traveling and living in space, is also the key element of rocket fuel. We now know that there is more water on the moon. Uh, there's enough water on the moon to power three, to power a space shuttle launch every day for the next 3,000 years. Okay, so this is vast amount of resources, and if you get that, you can bring anything you want back from the moon, essentially for free once the infrastructure is built, or you can bring that back to low Earth orbit. And once that fuel is already in Earth orbit, then it changes the whole economics of space development, because you can just launch only the payload you want to low Earth orbit, and then use all the fuel from there, collapsing economics. So really, this business starts now with being able to have a commercial development landing on the moon and bringing payload for our customers, and ultimately we think that will lead over the next next you know, 10 to 20 years um, to a whole new commercial development business space around the moon.